Hello and welcome to this tutorial on advanced Postman usage. Postman is a popular tool for testing and developing APIs and in this tutorial we will be covering some advanced techniques for using it effectively. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, we hope you will find something useful in this tutorial. So if you are not already familiar with Postman, don't worry. We'll start with a brief overview of its basic features, but our main focus will be on showing you how to take your Postman skills to the next level. By the end of this tutorial, you should have a good understanding of how to use Postman to test and debug APIs in a variety of real-world scenarios. For those who may not be familiar, Postman is a powerful tool for testing and developing APIs. It allows you to send HTTP requests to an API and view the response, making it easy to test and debug your code. Postman also offers a variety of features for organizing and managing your API tests, such as collections and environments. Now let's get into some of the advanced features of Postman. One useful feature is the ability to create and use variables in your requests. This can be helpful when you need to reuse certain values such as an API key across multiple requests. You can define variables at the global environment or collection level and use them in your requests by enclosing them in double curly braces. For example, to send a request to this API for to dos, we can provide its ID in the form of a variable so that we can reuse that variable across several different requests. So let's just copy this URL over here and then I'm going to provide the to do id as a variable so right now this to do id variable does not exist so we can create one by clicking on this environment quick look variable now we can create three kinds of variables global variables environment variables or collection variables global variables are applicable everywhere when any specific environment or collection is not selected Environment variables come into picture when we are working in a specific environment and when we have a specific collection selected then collection variables will take charge. So to create a global variable we just have to provide the variable name like this and then we have to provide its value. For example if I want the id 10 to do to be found or to be fetched then I can set its value as 10. Just save it and then click on send the response has the to do with the id 10 similarly for creating an environment variables first we need to add a new environment if we don't already have a new environment so let's provide the name of the environment as qa and then again the same variable but now with a different id value click on add then close this dialog and then select the qa environment send the request again this time you can see that to do with id 15 has been fetched to create a collection variable you need to have a collection so click on this new collection button and then provide the collection name like this create a new collection now what i will do is i will save this request into this collection by selecting it and then what we can do is we can right click on this collection and then click on edit go to the variables tab now i am going to again add the same to do id variable but this time the initial value will be 25 click on update and now because this request is part of this my collection let's just send it to see what happens so again the to do which has been fetched is of id 15 because we have selected the QA environment. Now when we will select the no environment, then the ID that will be used will be of the collection instead of the global variable to do ID value, which was 10, because right now this request is part of a collection. So that's how you can use variables in Postman based on the scope under which the request is being sent. Another advanced feature is the ability to use pre-request and test scripts. 
Pre-request scripts allow you to perform actions before a request is sent, such as setting up variables or modifying the request itself. Test scripts allow you to validate the response from an API. Both of these features use JavaScript, so you will need some familiarity with the language to use them effectively. Here is an example of a pre-request script that we can use with the same todos API, but the method is going to be post. So let's create a new request. I'm going to copy the URL and then set the method as post. Now inside the pre-request script, what I will be doing is I will be providing the request body so that we can provide this API, the exact to do that we want to post to the server. So right now the method is post, but still you can again change the request method by typing pm.request.method equals to post. Now you can set the body value by typing pm.request.body equals to a new object. So I'm going to provide user ID, which will be one. I will be providing the to-do title. So title is going to be test to do and then let's also provide its completed status which will be false after doing that we can set the request headers so pm dot request dot headers dot add i am going to provide an object as an argument the key is going to be content type and the value is going to be application json now let's see what will happen when i will click on the send button in the response you can see that an object is there with the id 201 which means that the server is accepting this request as a valid request and because it is a mock api or test api nothing is going to be added on the server but the server is just letting us know that a new to do with the id 201 has been added we can also verify this response by providing a test script so you can see the status of the response is 201 so what we can do is click on the tests tab and then in this editor we can write pm.test and then we have to provide a new test so response code if it is 201 then this test is going to be passed otherwise it will be failed so this function is going to execute this code to check the response so if the response dot two dot have if the status i'm sorry if the status is 201 then this test will pass otherwise it will fail now let's send the request again okay so this is the body of the response and this is the test results it says response code is 201 has passed if you want to see how the test result looks like when a test has failed then we can make some slight modification so instead of 201 we can test for 200 and it is going to fail because the status that is set for the response is 201 another handy feature in postman is the ability to use collections to organize and run your api tests collections allow you to group related requests and run them together making it easier to test and debug your api you can also use collection runners to run your tests automatically and generate reports for example let's say you have a collection of requests for testing an e-commerce api you can create a folder for each resource example products orders and customers and place the relevant requests in the appropriate folders then you can use the collection runner to run all of your tests at once and see the result in the console or in a report in conclusion we have covered some advanced techniques for using postman to test and develop apis we have looked at how to use variables pre-request and test scripts and collections to make your API testing more efficient and effective. By using these features, 
you will be able to handle a wide range of real world scenarios and troubleshoot issues more easily. I hope that you have found this tutorial to be helpful and that you will continue to explore the advanced features of Postman. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, there is always more to learn and discover with this powerful tool. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.